What up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy, LC the one, baby. LC the one to be exact, that is. AKA, Illmatic one. Two four. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm up jerseys on the back of my motherfucking chair right over there. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang and my LC crew. Hey, what's going on out there in the land where you live and you did? But hey, man, this is the reaction, the recap to the Brooklyn Nets versus the Phoenix Suns. Let me tell you, man, it was a good ass damn game. Good ass damn game. Minus the fact that Kyrie Irving is short handed without Kevin Durant. And that would have made a big difference tonight. Because the Phoenix Suns, as you know, the Phoenix Suns, they they running it up right now. And they're one of the hottest teams out there in the Western Conference. I like the young team. Devin Booker, Ricky Rubio, and Kelly Oubre, man. They got a good tandem. And that's what you need, man. They got a one, two, three punch. And every team should have one, man, in order to be effective in today's NBA. Okay, man. So let's get into the recap, man. I got the highlights right here and stuff, man. So let's go ahead and review. What I done seen tonight, man, it was a good game. So starting off, man, first quarter, man, uh, the action just kicked, it just kicked right into it. It just went right into it, man, right into the action and stuff, man. As you know, Kelly Oubre, Ricky Rubio, and Devin Booker, they all started now. But Ricky Rubio, he started because I don't think he started the first couple of games, you know. But now they got 10 chemistry and stuff like that, man. So 10 minutes into the first quarter, Suns up five minutes, and they going to the big guy, man. The big guy, that main man in the middle and stuff like that, man. I forget his name. But I'm going to give it to you in a second. After we do all the highlight and stuff like that. But on the other team, LeVert was trying to keep them into the game. It was 10-1 with 9 minutes left in the first quarter. 10-3, Kelly Oubre get a backdoor pass from the big man. And he put a nice little dunk down and stuff like that. 12-3, then Devin Booker comes back. Step back. Pop goes the weasel. Put them up. 14 to 3 with eight minutes left in the first quarter. Good game, good pace, good game. And then Kyrie Irving came back, knocked a three down and stuff like that, man. He tried to get them back into the game, man. And he did what he could, man. Came off with another screen and stuff like that. Got a little floater inside the lane, man. Brought the lead to 16 to 8. Eight minutes left in the first quarter. Then Rubio, they running plays for Rubio. He uh, ran off a screen and stepped back. Took a three, not three down. 19 8. Suns, seven minutes left in the first quarter. And uh, they tried to get back in the game. Like I said, they was trying their hardest to get back into the game, man. The the Brooklyn Nets, but they was outpowered tonight, man. Rubio, they was passing the ball. Oubre out in the corner of the pocket right there, shooting a tree, knocking it down 26 to 13. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Then Devin Booker. Knocked down a, a nasty three-point shot that he faked one of the defenders out. And he ran all the way out of bounds and stuff. And it just kept continuing on like that, man. Throughout the whole first quarter and stuff, man. It was good ball. being played. 35 to 16 and stuff like that, man. So, let's move into the second quarter. And let me show y'all, let me tell y'all what the action was looking like, man. It was, it was unbelievable, man. For real, for real. It was some very impressive basketball. As you know, the Phoenix Suns have been known historically to play up tempo style type of basketball when they hit uh uh they hit uh what's his name Amari Stoudemire and uh what's I, can, I how can I forget my main man my main man the uh the the uh the Suns point guard I'm just this I'm so tired man but anyway 40 it's gonna come to me 42 to 34 nine minutes left in the second quarter Brooklyn tried to get back into the game. They was trying to get back into the game, man. They started knocking down threes outside the perimeter. But then the Suns, they countered right back. They started running isolation plays. Devin Booker, he just he knocked down a shot. 44 to 46. You think I'm talking about six minutes left in the second quarter. Then they start going to DeAndre Jordan. Now, that right there I think was a flaw. Because at that point in the juncture of the game, they was close with four minutes left. And then they kept isolating, but they was going one by one with each player. Oubre, Rubio, then Devin Booker. But they tried to stay with De DeAndre Jordan. 
okay, they was running players with DeAndre Jordan. I think they should have kept the same style of basketball because when they took him out, they was running. They was running. They was they was doing effective. But when they brought him in, they tried to do a half set, and it didn't work too well. Okay? But, uh, yeah, man, the Suns, they was running all over there, man. They couldn't stop him, man. It continued all the way into the third quarter. Rubio was knocking down threes. Two minutes left in the second quarter. It was 57 to 48. And they, they just kept running plays for Rubio, Ubre. Ubre caught a nice little back screen, Ali oop dunk from Rubio. He threw the assist pass and stuff like that. And they just kept rolling, man. So let's move into the third quarter. Okay. And uh, yeah, third quarter begins. Same type of thing. They took they took DeAndre Jordan out, the guards and the forwards for the other t uh, for for the Brooklyn Nets. They tried to get something going and stuff like that, but it was too late. Okay, it was too late by then because the coaching for the Phoenix Suns was right on point. Okay, he kept most of the starters there. He kept booking, and that's what you got to do. You got to keep kicking the team when they down. Okay, you got to recognize your personnel, and then you got to exploit the defense. Okay, and he knew that. He got so he kept Rubio in, but it's the second start of the third quarter. The starters was back on the court, but anyway, he kept the starters. On the court, I don't know what the hell I'm talking I'm just talking. I got no play with y'all. But anyway, 85 to 63, five minutes left into the third quarter. Brooklyn tried to fight back. Like I said, they went back to DeAndre Jordan here started. But I think they're going to have to rework that scheme. Well, re strategizing, come up with a better rotation, especially when you're playing against a high power offensive team like the Phoenix Suns. Okay? They kept on rolling, man. Rolling all over, they steamrolled all over them the whole third quarter, okay? Devin Book came down, he started knocking down shots. Three minutes left in the game. They went up big. It was 92 to 67. At this point, it's lapidation time, okay? And now, the fourth quarter comes in. Let me speed up and get to the fourth quarter, man, because they could start. It was a three-point run. Devin Book just went off. Like I said, they was isolated with all three of their top stars, Rubio, Oubre, and Devin Booker. And it just kept going on and going on after that. Okay, now we get into the the uh, the fourth quarter. Okay, we get into the fourth quarter. You did what I'm talking about, man. And uh, yeah, it, it just kept going. Kyrie Irving hit a nice little floater jumper. You know, he was trying to work them back into it. Then he got another little young cat on the team. I forget his name. But I'm gonna give you his name too as well. You did what I'm talking about. Uh, the big man kept throwing backdoor screens or passes and stuff like that to the to the guard. They was just getting to the lane and they was attacking. They was finishing. I'm talking about man. If you would have seen the game, it was unbelievable, man. The way they was attacking and they was able to cut. They was cutting through and then they was playing a man defense. Uh, the Phoenix Suns and Brooklyn was playing. Well, no, Phoenix was playing a zone and uh, Phoenix was playing man on man. But uh, um. Kyrie Irving was exploiting that. He was getting all in the paint. You know, you know how to carry over this. He's a he's a uh, very efficient guard, and uh, he got a lot of problems and stuff like that, man. For real, for real. But <laughs> hey, man, I'm tired of saying. But uh, listen, uh, fourth quarter is 124.97. Three minutes left in the game. Now most of the starters for the Phoenix Suns are on the bench right now, so it's garbage time right now. Okay, so this is giving the other coach a chance to get a feel for his personnel so he can know how to rotate them because I see that's what he's going to have to do. And I know that's what he was experimenting with, you know, when it's garbage time like that. Let's see what's going to work because they kept Kyrie Irving on the floor. I don't know why he was still on the floor. No, they they, they took him out. But, you know, he's going to have to bring in, like, the new cat uh, that's there. He more athletic than DeAndre Jordan. Okay, so I think I would go that route you did. And everything in the game. Uh, but uh, hold on one second. I'm going to try to give you that guard name. And uh, we're going to sign out, man. I'm going to get our box score. Uh, I don't know how I forget his name, man. I'm just, I'm just so discombobulated and stuff, man, because I've been going so hard and stuff. But let me pull up the box scores while this thing is loading up. You know, for that guard that I'm thinking about and stuff like that, man. And uh, yeah, that was a good game. So we're gonna go to the loser team first, man. 
the losing team first. All right, man. That's Jared Allen. That's what I was thinking. Jared Allen, he had five points, but he was effective the minutes that he did come into the game. Kyrie Irving, 15 points, four rebounds, five assists. It's one of his lowest output uh, uh, performances, you know, this season. DeAndre Jordan, 16 points, 12 rebounds, three assists. Then we got DeMar, uh, DeMar's Massa, he had 12 points. Now let's go to the winner team. We got to hurry because my time may be running at the over. Okay. Uh, okay, for the winning team, high man on this team, Devin Booker, 27 points, two rebounds, nine assists. Run up right behind him, Ricky Rubio, 22 points, four rebounds, 12. They're going to be a good tandem and stuff. And then they got Kelly Oubre, 18 points. Five rebounds, zero assists, and uh, Darko Sarkic, 12 points, and uh, well, Aaron uh, Bayans, 14 points. Okay, man, but that, man, it was a good game, man. We finna sign up out of here, man. I didn't give y'all the guard's name and stuff like that, man. I forget his damn name, man. For real, for real. But, hey, man, this your boy, LC the Boy, baby. LC the one to be exact that is. A-K-A, Illmatic 1, 2 four, and not the motherfucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school and my warm-up jerseys on the back of my motherfucker chair. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping and avoid slipping. Because they will get your motherfucking ass if you slip on the motherfucker. Come on, pill. You know what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, touch your remember, God, we're going to shout out to my LC Nation, my LC Gang, and my LC Crew. I need y'all to like this video. Share this video. Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn the notification bell button on. To get more exclusive dope content from Pimp Play Games Hustle, all about my baby. And like I always say, man, touch one of God. We're on the five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Church. And now I give y'all that name in the next video. I'm out. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man. That's for all y'all niggas out there, man. Yeah. They're saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey, man. Use a duplicate. Yeah. Use a duplicate. Use a dude, nigga. Yeah. Use a duplicate, nigga. Use a duplicate. Yeah. Use a dude, nigga. And I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom t shirts. You dig what I'm talking about from LC the one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater. You dig what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t shirts as well. You dig unisex, long sleeve. You dig now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Straight up with the hood on it. Straight up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and stuff. You dig what I'm talking about. Back print and sleeve and print. You dig what I'm talking about. Prints everywhere. Then I got the yoga pants. You dig what I'm talking about. Joggers. You dig what I'm talking about for men. And I got the crop new t shirts for the ladies. You dig what I'm talking about. Look at that. She look comfortable in it. Uh huh. Then I got the sports bra. You dig what I'm talking about. Get the sports bra. You dig what I'm talking about. The back print print. You dig what I'm talking about. The back print print. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the yoga pants for the ladies. You dig what I'm talking about. Biker booty shorts. You dig what I'm talking about. So that put that piece can ride. Now, you dig on time. Then I got the, the yoga leggings. You dig on time. I'm full so but she jogging and everything. And I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You dig, and I got the, the custom socks. You dig on time. You ain't gonna find the most socks like that nowhere on the planet. And then, last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey. You dig on time. About then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print, look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You dig on draw screen back. And then I got the real backpack. You know what I'm talking about? LC the one. Look at the back. Look at the front. You think I'm look at the top. You think I'm talking about everything is looking good. You think I'm talking about in LC the one's neighborhood. And then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case. You think I'm talking about. And then I got the iPhone 6 case. 7, 8, 9. Let's order what you want. And then I got the custom print. You think I'm talking about LC the one, baby. And then I got the custom mug. And when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my stream. And then I got the snuggle pillow. When you want to get Get snuggled with your lady, yeah.